Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mortal Kombat 9 on PC. Uh, so today we'll be playing as uh, Sub-Zero, another iconic character from the Mortal Kombat franchise. Uh, so basically the story so far, uh, we are in the uh, second tournament held in Outworld, and basically um, we're playing as Sub-Zero because he is searching for uh, the murder of, of his brother, the original Sub-Zero, uh, which was Scorpion, but he doesn't know that, so he's still looking for him. But at the same time, um, Sector and uh, the other Lin Kuei members who have already been converted into cyborgs are looking for Sub-Zero because he is still human and they want to convert him. So that's where we are right now. Uh, Cyrax, who was converted, he also didn't want to uh, convert, but now he is. Uh, and he seems to be brainwashed into uh, obeying the Lin Kuei directive or whatever. Um, he even introduces himself as LK4D4, or whatever that means. Just some, uh, you know, mumbo jumbo uh, robot speak, I guess. But uh, anyway, we're playing as Sub Zero. We played a smoke before, and uh, that was a, that was a pretty key moment that I forgot to mention last time because that was actually Smoke agreeing to help. Uh, Raiden and Johnny Cage there uh, for the sake of Earth Realm. So, you know, it's the first time the Lin Kuei is actually fighting for Earth, and they are doing it, and he's going to help them. So, but here we're going to focus on Sub Zero, and uh, let's start it up. Okay, so, you know, everybody knows about S Sub Zero's Ice Ball here, right there. Uh, he also has his trademark slide, it hits low, very punishable, so, very risky move. Uh, see, the, and, the, and the computer always blocks it. They, uh, there you go, I got it, finally got him with the slide. Uh, the computer always blocks that slide, it's super annoying. There's this ice clone there, you know, it freezes them if they run into it. Uh, you know, kind of hard for the computer to do it because they're just, you know, this is the computer, they can, they know what to do. There's actually Cyrex, he has a teleport, so he can just teleport right through it. Uh, anyway, good combo there. That was the enhanced freeze. And what he what else does he have? He has the ground freeze, which uh you know basically just uh he kicked me out of it. Very, that, that's a very that's a very slow startup. I mean same with the ice ball, you, those aren't moves you really want to use uh you know when you're right in front of your opponent because they can just punish you while you're doing them. Anyway, that was the enhanced freeze that actually freezes the whole ground there. Unfortunately Cyrax got me with one of his bombs. Um, so anyway, basic strategies with Sub-Zero, I think it's pretty obvious you want them to be frozen. Um, the way to do that uh, usually is through that Ice Clone. Uh, you can pretty much just sit behind it. Uh, even Cyrax, he t tries to teleport, but you, you can kind of uh, punish the teleport on reaction. So you can just sit behind the Ice Clone and, you know, basically set up a defense. Uh, Sub-Zero is basically known as like a tank character in that uh, sense. He's very defensive and he hits very hard uh, on his punishes. There we go, finally got him into the Ice Clone. And then uh, hit him with the slide there. I will face the Lin Kuei when my task is done, not before. The readings were getting stronger and now they're gone. I Sub-Zero? But... you're dead. I am not the Sub-Zero you speak of. He was my brother. Your... brother? I am only here to learn Sub-Zero's fate. He was killed by someone named Scorpion. Where would I find him? Try the Colosseum. It's weird that he, uh, doesn't really know... I mean, I guess he might know who Scorpion is, but he pro should probably know where to find him, too. It seems like they... Their clans have a history. So yeah, apparently Ermac was regenerated, regenerating in that like weird mask of souls. There, this scene is pretty brutal. I have to say, Ermac uh, just basically destroying Jax's arms here. I mean, I don't know if this is contrived as a way to get Jax's metal arms. Uh, once again, Sonya to the rescue with her solderizing purple rings, I guess. Um, but 
that was pretty uh, pretty crazy that Ermac did that. I don't know why he couldn't do that to any of the other people he fought, but or why he's not doing that to me right now. Um, okay, so what you're seeing here is that the string I'm using for uh, is the uh, two one four, and then I automatically cancel that into a slide. Very good, um, because you know it just looks cool. That was like one of the first uh, one of the first basic cancels I. Uh, did in this game was the uh, 214 into a, into a slide. Oh, uh, it's finally good to see Ermax X ray. Alright, so. Um, yeah, like I said, basic strategy, you just want to sit behind the ice clone. Uh, with the computer, you know, it's a little bit trickier. They don't really act like a normal human being, so they're not going to, like, just automatically run into a... Uh, anyway, we'll get to see uh, Sub-Zero's X-Ray here. Freezes his organ. I don't I don't think anybody really knows what organ that is. It looks like a stomach, but it seems to be too low, and it's pretty sure if somebody wouldn't be able to function if they had their stomach frozen and shattered, but uh, whatever, I guess. It's certainly not the craziest thing we've seen in this game. I remain whole for now. Sonia Blade to command. Sonia Blade to command, do you read? Sonia Blade to command, do you read? You will stop the bleeding. Yeah, but he needs a medic as soon as possible. I must go to the Coliseum. But I need your help to There's get There's a portal to the south. You can use it to transport yourselves back to Earthrealm. Mother! That portal better be close! So here we have the recurring theme of people refusing to uh, finish off the people they've beaten. Of course, Katana remembers when Liu Kang spared her, but you know this time Shao Kahn just does it for her because he's kind of an asshole, if you hadn't noticed. Shao Kahn. I challenge Scorpion, the murderer of my brother. You will bring him before me. No one makes demands of the Emperor. Reptile! So here we go, we're fighting Reptile again. Reptile is basically like the bitch of the MK universe. He's, you know, basically used as a pawn by pretty much anyone and everyone. There is a time when he even becomes the vessel for uh, Onaga in Mortal Kombat Deception. Uh, and that's like a whole another story. That's, you know, part of the the games where we fail to, uh, where we don't talk about because they are, you know, not very good. Uh, so, I'm just trying to, you can also, it's very good to uh, throw that ice clone in the air like that because, you know, they when they, they try to uh, chase you with uh, jumps and jump-ins uh, and you can try to, like you think that you know, it's especially good because if you jump forward and you and they try to meet you with an air-to-air -air, like it's, uh, you know, it psychs them out by just throwing out a clone instead and then they'll just jump right into the clone. Uh, the other thing, cool thing that you could do with the ice clone is uh, you have an uh, it's always a very bad trade when you uh, get hit by that gas ball and you freeze them. It doesn't really do anything for you. Anyway, variation on the combo of the... it's That one is a little bit harder to pull off and it does the same damage. Uh, so I'm not really sure why I would use it, but you know, it's, it's just for variety, I guess. But like I was saying, uh, the, the enha enhanced slide, if I can get this off, it kind of... Uh, hits them, you slide and then you hit them on the other side, so let's see if I can pull this off here. Like that, you hit them on the other side. So if you had a clone placed there, uh, you can kind of 
basically force them to run into that clone right after that slide. Anyway, taking... I mean, I've played a Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero was probably the first character I picked up. Uh, like I said, when I first learned how to cancel moves with him, um, but, uh, so I, I, I've, uh, I know this character pretty well, so, you know, not as well as Smoke, but, uh, a little bit better than most of the other characters. So you see another guy that looks like Smoke in the background, at least what Smoke looked like in MK1, I don't really know who that is, just some generic ninja, I guess. So I think he just made a deal with there, like, he's gonna serve Shao Kahn in an exchange just to kill Scorpion or something. The problem is that Scorpion is already dead, like, that's, you know, pretty much the defining aspect of his character, so I don't really know what Sub-Zero's plan is here. There you go, that 2-1-4 into, uh, slide. That's bad. That, when they're in the frozen in the air, the freeze doesn't really last very long, and it's kind of hard to punish uh, with such a short reaction time. So you see uh, most of my combos start with a 2-2 two, two into a freeze like that. That was an enhanced freeze by accident, but whatever. Did I miss any of his moves? Uh, no, that's it. Yep, he only has four. He has four, only has four moves, but they're four very good moves. Uh, so no one's complaining. Um, see if you can even get the computer to run into it from time to time. You know, just because certain strings will just have distance on them and they'll force them into uh, doing that. Uh, Alright, so, you know, that does it for Sub-Zero actually, again, another f very f quick uh, four matches. So here we go, the Lin Kuei actually did catch up to Sub-Zero, you know, right as he's about to kill Scorpion, again, I guess, but, um... Now interrupts the Emperor's tournament? Sub -Zero? No! You cannot save him, stay here, or they will take you as well. We request that we may return him to our temple for judgment. And what do I gain from Oh, I'm sorry. I, I got my t uh, story confused. It's the actual, actually, the Sector and Cyrax that uh, pledged their allegiance to Shao Kahn in exchange for Sub Zero. Right. So we just saw the second change in the timeline. Sub Zero. I mean, uh, Smoke was spared, but Sub Zero unfortunately was not, and um, that's kind of crazy because Sub-Zero is a super popular character so it's weird that they would convert him. I'm not going to spoil what exactly happens to him. I guess I've spoiled, even though I've spoiled a lot already, but still. Uh, anyway, Shao Kahn just bitching out Katana there. Couldn't have said it better any myself, Johnny Cage. Um, so yeah, Smoke there looking pretty uh, depressed at losing his friend. Um, we have not seen the last of Sub Zero, and for a matter of fact, it's not the uh, last we've seen of both Sub Zeros. If you can make sense of that, but anyway, it looks like we're going to play Katana next. You are a princess. 
He expects more from you than I this. know what he expects. We will talk later, when you are in more of a mind to listen. Princess Katana, I request an audio. Earth Realmers, you dare approach me. Hey, listen, honey. We don't want to fight, but we will if we must. So, uh, she does call them Earth Realmers. Uh, while Katana looks like a human, she's in fact not a human. She is from a place called Edenia, which was conquered by Shao Kahn, who also looks like a human, but also is not a human because he is from Outworld. Uh, just to clear that up if you were confused. And, okay, so that does it for this video. Um, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that Sub-Zero play. I know it was pretty fast, and I couldn't really uh, get to uh, some of the more specifics with him either, but... Um, you know, it's really hard to uh, to talk about the strategies while you're playing, but uh, if you're interested in learning more, just please uh, feel free to write in the comments or message me wherever, on Twitter or whatever. Um, or just better yet, uh, like I said, like I've been saying all this time, go to testyourmic.com and they have all the information you need. Um, as far as Sub-Zero goes, he has, he has, uh, he definitely has his strengths, but, uh, you know, it's, very hard to use him. It's you know you have to be very patient with Sub Zero. He's like a tank. You gotta be on the defense all the time. You gotta stay strong behind that ice clone. And uh, you got it's a lot of his high level strategies basically, um, you know, are are focused on locking the like basically locking the opponent into a corner. Not not uh, you know literally, but in in the uh, like in in a sort of sense where you know they're kind of forced to go into an ice clone or, you know, make a bad guess. Uh, it's, you know, and a lot of time you have to end up sacrificing damage there. Uh, what you saw, I mean, what I didn't really do the most damaging combos, but I also didn't do uh, some of the better setups. There's a lot uh, better ways I could have ended the combo so I can get an ice clone set up and basically, you know, like, uh, jail the opponent for, uh, um, so that they can't really uh, do much but escape and you know, be pressured by that ice clone. Uh, but anyway, that does it for Sub-Zero, and I uh, uh, hope you join me next time for Katana.